Good evening, Miss Jennifer Beatriz. Welcome to the class, Miss Jennifer Beatriz. You're going to be a listener today again. Okay. Hi, Miss. Hi. Yes, I'm taking care of my baby boy and my husband. He okay. was, or he has a surgery recently, and I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So I'm going to start sharing my PPT while the others join, okay? Thank you for telling okay, me, perfect. and I hope that your the recovery of your husband is going to to be very soon, okay? And I hope that he gets uh, better I'm soon. Okay. Thank you. Hello, baby. Okay. Uh, while the others join, I'm going to start sharing my PPT and with the feedback of what we did in the previous class. Thank you for joining on time. It is very important, the attendance. And Oscar Eduardo Men Melendez is joining right now, okay? So uh, welcome. It is a pleasure to have you here one more time. And we are going to get started because time flies and we are about to finish the level, yes? Only two more classes and the level is going to be over. So that is why it is very important that you keep connected during the whole session. Is that okay? Uh, so you can get those minutes for your attendance. Remember that every second counts, every minute counts. Here we go. Okay. Thanks for joining everyone. And here we go. Okay. It is loading. And here from the very beginning. Okay, today class is October 3rd, 2023. That's correct. And then I we have here what I was about to tell you, class. It is very important that you update your homeworks and evaluations, please, okay? Because um, it is extremely important that you finish by tomorrow all your evaluations. Actually, most of you have already finished the platform, that, but there are still some students who are pending. Algunos están debiendo actividades incluso de la sección 2, 3 y 4. Mañana se espera que ya hayan terminado para que el día de pasado mañana, que será nuestro último día de clase, todo esté muy bien, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, so I cordially invite you to finish your assignments, ok, your homeworks in the learning platform, your midterm test and your final test, ok. And here the requirements, your full name when you get connected in case of listeners, you know what to do. Uh, it is expected that you have your camera on during all the session. You have to minimize the sound uh, as much as possible unless you are told not to do so. Active participation, okay? And here the attendance, what I was telling you, it is, you know, extremely important that you keep connected from the very beginning until the end of the class. So you get the 120 minutes, yeah? And again, I'm going to call your names to take your attendance twice, about at 8.20 and at about 9.40. You have to say, as you have been doing from level number one, presente, here I am, present or here. And at the end of the session, at the end of the class, one of you is going to stay with me for the one-on-one -on -one session, 10 minutes. And you know, I don't have any authorization to uh, let you, to give you permission to skip classes. And this is the expectation, all the cameras on, but here all the opposite. The mute button, as I told you from the very beginning, camera on, the two chats available, the breakout rooms, Available for you. The ask for help button is available for you when you are transferred to the breakout rooms and respect above all, okay? So here we are in this section, okay? We are in our week number four. It is our class number 18 and here we go. Okay, class, I need someone to help me reading the objectives. Hello? I, I can miss. Okay, Jennifer, please help us. Okay, objectives. General objective. Participants will be able to use the verb be in the past. Specific objective. Participants will be able to describe past events 
in their workplace. Class objective. At the end of the class, participants will be able to ask and answer about past events in my workplace. Thank you so much. I appreciate your participation. That was great. Thanks a lot again. And here we go, class. Okay, but before we go over that, let's see what we have in here. We're going to have a brief feedback on what we did yesterday in our class. And we're going to check out our manual, right? If you remember class, yesterday we were working on this activity, right? You were asking and answering these questions, okay? With your real information, you were answering. How often do you evaluate products um, at your company who is in charge of buying supplies at your workplace? In other words, we know that in almost all the companies, there is a purchasing department, yes? or a purchasing area. Maybe you know who is in charge of buying the supplies at your workplace, or maybe you are not, depending on the area that you move, depending if the company is a small company or a big company. If it has many branches, maybe they have the, uh, the purchasing area or the purchasing department in another branch. It depends on the nature of your company. Later, okay, you were asking and answering, uh, after you were asking and answering the, those two questions, we were practicing this conversation. If you remember, and we were practicing the verb to be in past tense and also the questions with the modal auxiliary do and did in past tense because do is in present, did in past, but I was telling you that did and the verb to be in present or in past is a modal auxiliary. When we ask questions in past tense with the auxiliary did, we don't use the verb to be. When you use the verb to be to formulate questions in past tense, you don't use the modal auxiliary did. That's okay. And now this is the conversation you were practicing and you were, you know, um, making it personal at the end, right? So to have a feedback, as I told you, I'm going to ask two of the participants, two of you, to help me reading this conversation. Okay, volunteers? Two volunteers to read the conversation. I'm going to wait. For the two volunteers. I'm waiting for the two volunteers to read the conversation. Okay, Me? Evelyn, thank you. Evelyn, you are going to read the Hank. I need another participant to read Eric. Who wants to read Eric? Me, Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer. Please read uh, Eric. And Evelyn reads Hank. Please. Okay. Hi, Eric. Did you buy this? Part for the sewing machine. Yes, I did. Uh, yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay. I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I want to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Great. Thank you girls for the active participation. And also, if you remember class, you were practicing answering these three comprehension questions because the uh, activity was to discuss okay, the following questions and to answer them considering the information in the conversation. And then we have, what did Eric need to buy? What was the price of the product? How was the customer service at the store okay and you were answering and we shared 
the answers here in the main session room. Congratulations. Also, you were uh, practicing in the um, worksheet. If you remember, in the worksheet, the link that I shared with you via WhatsApp, you were working on the completion of the uh, past tense of the verbs, okay? So here, let's continue. Today, we have this. How to use the verb be in past, yes, no questions. Use the past be to ask questions about uh, situations in the past. And the structure is be plus the subject plus the complement and a question mark if it is a question, yes? And then we have, was the training interesting? Affirmative short answer, yes, it was. No, it wasn't, in negative. Were all the employees at the conference? Yes, they were, no, they weren't, right? Now here, what do we have? You have to read the following services and write questions to evaluate them, okay, using the simple past and past of B. Then you are going to ask the questions to a classmate. So here we go. On November 1st, I bought a spare part for the printer. At the spare ES, the price was $300. The brand was read well. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. In the second paragraph, you have on January 2nd, I bought the Ritz parts that were requested. The price was $30 each, and they were installed in the sewing machine. The machine was working properly. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces. So you can write seven questions. Maybe you write four and three or three and four. It depends, but information questions similar to the ones that here you have. Um, for example, um, how much did it cost, okay? Or uh, did you order it online? Okay, did you buy it downtown? How was the customer service? Or how? Or what was the price of the product? How was the customer service? What did, uh, what did, uh, okay, what did you buy? Yeah, information, questions that you are going to extract from here, from these two paragraphs. But the questions must be in past tense. Are the instructions clear? Están yes. claras las instrucciones, sí. Okay, now my question is, and I'm going to stop sharing because I'm going to ask you. Class, in order to develop this activity, how do you feel more comfortable working individually or working in the groups? It is better if you work in groups because, okay, uh, you may discuss the questions. Yes? Is that okay? If I transfer you to the groups? Okay, here we go. Okay, let me see. How many people over here? Nice. Um, let's see, Miss Evelyn and um, Andre Catherine. Hello. Hi. Hi, welcome. Okay. Let's see. I am checking if everybody Hi, is in here. Hi, welcome, Andre. Edwin is Okay. Here we go. Mm. 
Okay, I'm going to share. Let me see. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ay, Miss Minero, let me see if you are in the list of the group. So otherwise, I'm going to share with you the invitation because some of you are joining right now. Anyways, I'm going to uh, share with you the invitation and later the ones who are joining recently, I'm going to add uh, each of you to the groups. Otherwise, we're going to be here, okay? Go to your groups, please. I have uh, Carla Minero and Maritza. Okay, great. Let me see. So you go to group number four. Miss Maritza, join group number four. Okay, join your groups. Go to your groups, please. Thank you. Okay, hello, class. Oscar Humberto. Ay. Okay, uh, Miss Carla, welcome. We were missing you. Maritza, you are active. Miss Carla is active. Edwin Esau, are you going to be active or uh, you cannot participate? Active teacher. Okay, great. And Miss Katia? Hello, Katia. Okay, the active ones here are Maritza, Edwin, and Miss Carla. I'm going to tell you again the instruction, okay? Miss Carla Edwin Esau and Miss Maritza. Okay, look at this. We are working at page 42. And we have here these two paragraphs, yes? What you are going to do is that you are going to write seven information questions based on the information that you have in these two paragraphs. It is a uh, purchasing in each of them, okay? Es acerca de dos compras que se realizaron. Entonces, ustedes van a formular preguntas en tiempo pasado porque los párrafos están en tiempo pasado, ¿de acuerdo? Es lo que hemos estado estudiando en esta unidad. For example, when uh, in the first paragraph on November 1st I bought a spare parts for the printer at blah 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 when when did you buy the spare parts for the printer for example yes preguntas en las cuales vamos a obtener las respuestas acá sí y hay algunas preguntas que les pueden servir acá en la página 42 is that okay 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 I'll be back because I need to go to group number three see you hello Hello. Hola, teacher. Hola, Catherine. Tell me. <laughs> eh, no, no comprendimos lo que es la, la actividad del ejercicio 5. Okay, here we go. I was mm -hmm. explaining that. Yeah, because okay, not everybody was on time. Okay, class, here we go. Okay. Here <coughs> you have two paragraphs. Yes, they mm -hmm. are in past tense. It is about a purchasing. Es acerca de una compra, cada uno de ellos. So mm -hmm. you're going to write information questions based on these two paragraphs. Van a escribir preguntas de información en relación a estos dos párrafos. For example, on November 1st, I bought a spare part for the printer at the spare ES. When did you buy the spare part for the printer? Esa es una pregunta. Y acá la respuesta, ¿sí? Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, where did you buy the spare part? ¿Dónde compraste el repuesto? I bought the, if you want to give a long answer, I bought a spare part for the printer at Spare ES. Spare ES es la compañía donde la compraron, ¿sí? Y aquí uh -huh. tienen ayuda, miren en lo que vimos ayer. What was the price of the product? ¿Ya? Yeah. How was the customer service at the store? What did you buy? Yeah? No, what did Eric need to buy? What did you need to buy? Yes? Okay? Mm -hmm. 
Y acá mm -hmm. tenemos, por ejemplo, uh, more information. Uh, it is about the, the customer service, uh, okay? And the price and mm -hmm. the brand also. What was the brand? Brand es la marca. Read well, ¿ya? Y ahí ya tienen las preguntas. Y parecidas a lo que tenemos acá en el segundo párrafito. ¿Y estar ok? El segundo párrafo también lo vamos a... Sí, a... Tienen que, porque tienen que ser siete preguntas. Sí, uh -huh. aquí si se fijaron okay. salieron como tres o cuatro preguntas. ¿Ok? Sí, uh -huh. sí. Ok. Great. Está bien. Ok, see you later. Thank you, teacher. Thank see you later. Bye. Okay, bye, bye. Teacher, I, I have a question. Ask me the question, Guillermo. Uh, I don't know if it is correct to write this question. Um, when was the purchase of the printer? Mm, the question is correct. You did it in a very good way. Congratulations. But when was what is the answer because they they are sharing here uh guillermo eduardo that they bought a spare part compraron un repuesto for the printer i bought a spare part uh un repuesto for the printer at the spare okay. yes the price was este es el precio del repuesto okay okay but the question is okay. But you may say, imagine that I think that probably it is a huge printer. Yes. Because okay. if, a, if a spare part is $300, how much could a printer cost? ¿Cuánto podría okay. costar una, una impresora? You may ask the question and you use your creativity, okay? In order to give the price and there is no problem. That's okay. 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 The idea is that you write the questions, but the answers are in the two paragraphs. Yes? Okay. Okay. See you. Very well done. Congratulations, Liam. Hello, class. Everything okay? Ah, you, Ursula. Only hey. listener teacher. Okay. I'm going to transfer you to another group, okay? Okay, thank you. So you can be more active. Let me see. Okay. Okay, hold it because I'm going to give access to Mr. Okay, and you. Okay, Ursula, at this moment. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thanks for joining. Yeah. It's Ursula. Okay. Let me see. Part for the printer. Uh -huh, that's correct. Sería la respuesta a despair es. Es correcto, así es. A despair es. Excellent. Very well. Congratulations. Hey, class, because you are working in a very well, a good and excellent way. Uh, here you are. Ursula Esteli is going to work with you, okay? Ursula, welcome to the group with Catherine and Andre. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hola. Hello. Hello. How are you? Working oh. hard. Working hard. In the I was class. alone. No, I, I was alone. The lonely. She was about to cry. Okay. <laughs> Go and work, please. Bye. Hello, welcome. Hello. Uh, Mr. Edward Flores. 
I'm going to tell you what we are doing right now. These people are working. I don't know how they uh, divided the, the work. Page 42, okay? And we have these two paragraphs in past tense. They have information about a purchase that someone did at the company. In the first one, we have on November 1st, I bought a spare part for the printer at Spurt ES. The printer was the price, $100. The brand was really well. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. It is similar to the information on the second part. But what you have to do is you have to write seven questions, okay? Maybe four and three or three and four, but information question about these two paragraphs. For example, if I say, how was the customer still write the answer here? The customer service was great, yeah? And what was the price of the spare part for the printer? Oh, it was $300, yes? And uh, some of the questions that we practiced yesterday in the conversation are helpful for you. For example, what did you need to buy? What was the price of the product? How was the customer service at the store? Those, mm. Did you order it online? Did you buy it at downtown? Yes, it depends. So as a group, you are going to create the questions and the answers, but based on the information in paragraph one and paragraph okay. two. Is that okay? Van a crear siete preguntas, considerando la información que se realizó en el párrafo 2. Pueden considerar las preguntas que están en la página 41 y las adecuan al, a su trabajo. Serían okay. 14, solo 7. Eh, Sonia. I don't know if you have any questions, people here in this group. Hola, hola. No sé si tendrán preguntas ya formuladas en este grupo. Hola. Hi. Here your partners are Maritza Elizabeth, Carla Minero, Edwin Esaú, and recently joined Sonia Esmeralda. Y reciente acabo de unir a Sonia Esmeralda que acaba de ingresar Hola. al grupo. Hola. Hola. Edwin Esaú, we don't listen to you. Serían siete preguntas. It seems preguntas. that you're, you have active the microphone, but we don't listen. Now you have closed the microphone. Now you have opened it, but we don't listen to you. Ahora lo tiene eh, activado el micrófono, pero no le escuchamos, Edwin. Yo sí puedo escucharle. No, no le escuchamos. Si usted quiere la pregunta a usted, son 14. O... Maritza, did you listen, do you listen to him? Yeah. Escucha, Maritza. Yeah. Hola. Sí. Es mi pregunta. pregunta. Yo no escucho a Maritza, la del problema seré yo. Yo creo que sí. ¿Me escuchan? Sí. Pero yo no le escucho a ustedes. Voy a volver a otro grupo porque en otro grupo sí me escuchaba. Okay. Edward, do you listen to yes, me? Yes, I listen to. No, no les escucho. Okay, voy a volver entonces a otro grupo y luego regreso. I don't know what happened when I moved from, from one group to the other okay. one. Okay, see you. Hello, class. How is everything? ¿Cómo vamos Hello, con el trabajo? Everything okay? Yes, teacher. I finish. Okay, finished. And the other people? Noé, Gustavo, Evelyn, Yamilet, Henry, Giovanni. Yes. Okay. You know something real is happening because in group number four, I didn't listen to the participants and they didn't listen to me. They listened to me, but I didn't listen to them. And here the, the thing is different. Mm, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Okay. So let's return then to the, to the main session room. And we share all the questions, yes? Because maybe you have similar questions to the other groups. Is that okay? Okay. Thank you, we're going to compare. Okay. Okay, let's wait for the other partners to return. And we are going to compare our questions.
Okay, here we go. Edward, do you listen to me? Say hello, Edward. Activate your microphone. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, I, I don't know what yeah. happened there because in the I other think it, uh -huh. I think that you you had uh silence on on, on my group, all my group. Mm, no, because in the other group everything was perfect and I didn't touch a thing. Mm, well, but thank God everything is okay. Okay, class, here we go. Before because we go, everybody listened to teacher. Yes, that was a strange. Everybody, everybody yeah. in my group listened to. Uh huh. But you don't listen. In, I didn't listen. Might. Yes, that was a strange. But in the other group, everything was perfect. Okay. Anyways, class, before we go. Uh, on the questions, I'm going to call your name so I can take your first attendance. Ana Cristina, Ana Cristina Hernandez Serrano, Andre, where are you, Andre? Present teacher. Thank you. Arely Isabel Campos Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you, Arely. Uh, Carlos Enrique Rivas. Carlos Enrique. Carlos Enrique Rivas, absent. Dani, Daniel Ernesto. Dani is absent, right, at the moment. Uh, David Emanuel. Present teacher. Thank you, David. Daisy Carolina. Daisy Carolina Angulo, absent. Edwin Esaú. Present, present teacher. teacher. Thank you. Who is present? Ah, Daisy. Okay, yes. Daisy. Thank you, Edwin and Daisy. Miss Carla Minero. Carla Minero. Okay, thank you, Miss Carla. Uh, Evelyn Yamilet. Present teacher. Thank you. Miss Yvonne Menjivar. Jill Yvonne. I saw her here. Uh, Guillermo Eduardo is here. Guillermo, are you here? Yes. Yes, teacher, present. Thank you. Henry Giovanni. Present, yeah. teacher. Okay, thank you. Jennifer Beatriz. Present, miss. Thank you, miss. Juan Eduardo Flores, Mr. Flores, here. Catherine Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Miss Catherine Beatriz Reyes Ventura. Katia Maria. Katy. Present teacher. Thank you. Maritza Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Maritza. Miguel Ángel Santos. Present teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Noé Gustavo. Noé. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Eduardo. Present. Thank you. Oscar Humberto. Present teacher. Okay. Reina Elizabeth. Present. Present Thank teacher. Thank you, Miss Reina. Rosalí. Rosalí Bon. Rosalí. Absent at the moment. Sonia. Present teacher. Okay, Susana, Carolina. Susan is not here, very rare. Susana, absent. Ursula Esteli. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, class, here we go. We're going to check your questions, okay? Maybe you have some similar questions, no problem. But some of the questions could be, okay? Volunteers to tell me one question, please. And then we'll write it. Okay, who wants to share one question? Hello, practice, okay, Edward, Guillermo Eduardo. Me teacher, what was the price of the product? Okay, Ursula Esteli says what? Okay, what was the price of the product? Very well, question mark at the end. Um, 
Okay, teacher. Guillermo, uh, Eduardo. What was the brand of a spare part of the printer? The brand of the spare part of the printer. Yeah, of the printer. And question mark at the end. Very well, excellent. Now, another question, class. How uh, was the customer service? How was, thank you, Miss Minero, how was the customer service? Okay. Another question? Me, teacher. Yes, Evelyn. What kind did you buy on January 2nd? What kind of? Did. What sí. kind did you buy? Sí, pero ¿qué clase de qué? Oh, what de, uh, what, what kind did you buy? Sí, pero ¿qué clase de qué? Porque ustedes... No, ahí usted está preguntando nada más qué clase compraste, qué clase de qué. De, I, I bought the report. Part. Ah, what kind of parts? Esa es en el párrafo 2 o en el 1? En el 2. Ok, what kind of parts did you buy? Ok. Ok. Uh, another question. When did you make the second buy? When did you um, make, make the second buy? The second buy. The second purchase. Compra. Uh, purchase. Okay. Purchase. Okay, very well. Another potential question, class. Hello. Me teacher. Okay. The advice was good, good on the purchase. The advice. The advice. El consejo. Uh, sería la asesoría. La asesoría. Mm. The customer service. Eh, la asesoría en español, la asesoría fue buena en la compra. Pues sí, the customer service. Yes. Ah, entonces sería, was the um, advisory good. Esto quiere poner usted, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. Que si la asesoría fue bien, fue buena. Uh, and then another question. For example, maybe yes. was was the machine working properly? Repeat, Miss. Was was the machine working properly? Ah, was the machine uh, working properly? Very well. Another one, then the, if there are more than seven, excellent. Do we have another question? Tell me, don't be afraid. Me, teacher. Yes. When was they by the spa by the spa part? When was date? Hmm. Day, fecha, o cuando. When was the day, date? The date of the purchase. By the spare part. When was the date of the purchase? Cuando fue la fecha de la compra. Yes. But uh, the more specific is the spare part. Pues sí, pero como los dos son, son spare parts, porque mm, tenemos read parts, read parts. parts es un repuesto. 
y spare okay. part. Entonces, si lo dejamos, when was the date of the purchase? Ah, but you may say the purchase of the spare part uh, for the printer. For the printer. Yeah, more specific. And you may uh, write another question. When was, similar for the other one. When was the, the date of the purchase of the rich parts? Yes. And then you have two questions. But there could be another one. About the brand, you didn't write any. Sobre la marca no escribieron ninguno. Because here we have uh, the brand was Ridwell. And we say what was the brand or the spare part. Spare part of the printer. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. So right now, class, uh, please take a screenshot of these questions because you are going to be asking and answering these questions in the breakout rooms. Is that okay? Hello? Did you take the screenshot? Orally, okay. Orally, because you are going to identify the answers in the two paragraphs. Is that okay? Orally, if I say, for example, uh, Mr. Edward Flores, what was the price of the product of the spare part for the printer? What was the price? Mr. Flores. The price is $300. Mm -mm. The price was. Because remember that you um, have to answer pass. in past. Okay, yeah. Okay. That's the idea. That is why you need to practice orally. But you have to find the answer here. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, to make your life easier. Para hacerles la vida más fácil. Did you take the screenshot of the, of the question? Yes? Who wants to share yes. that screenshot via WhatsApp? Who wants to share that screenshot via WhatsApp? Please. Okay, share it via WhatsApp. Compartan la via WhatsApp so you can have it. Okay, now we are going to work on the breakout rooms. Thank you. Okay. Mm. Let me see. Hey, I know in one. Let me see. Hi. In number four, I have a little song. Okay. Uh, let me see. If someone joined recently, I'm going to transfer you later on, okay? Otherwise, I'm going to be here adding and adding. Okay, go to your groups, please. Join your groups. Maritza, go to your group. Ursula Esteli, go to your group. 
and the rest of you go to your group. Uh, Rosalie, Yvonne, go to your group. Everybody go to your groups, please. See you. Yes, the questions that are in the in the WhatsApp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you have all the information in the two in the two paragraphs. Ay, Ana Cristina goes to you. Okay, here you are, Henry Giovanni. Ay, Edwin Esaú. You are group number. Eh, la primera pregunta, what was the price of the product? And it will be... The 30... 300, 300. Three hundred dollars. Yes, that is for uh, the spare part. Hey, class group, Edwin Esaú is going to be working with you, okay? Yes, I am. Okay, so here you are, Henry Giovanni, Edwin Esaú, Sonia, Reina Elizabeth, Edward Flores, and Arely. Okay, everybody try to participate. Remember, you only have two more classes, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. So let's Thank practice, you. okay? See you, bye. Thank you. Y yo pienso que una cada uno, así, hasta que lo vayamos. Okay. okay. I'm ready. Okay. La primera, what was the price of the product? The price was $300. Okay, three. Three hundred dollars. Okay. Ah, sí. Yes. Eh, ahora otro, usted mismo. Mm, no sé quién más iba a participar. You, hey, you have here, Noé Gustavo, Carla Minero, Jennifer Beatriz, and Maritza Elizabeth. Everybody participating, okay? Guillermo, you ask one question to another partner. Edward? Okay. Okay. Your victims um, might be. Maritza. Uh -huh. Okay, great. What was the brand of the spare part of the printer? The brand of the part part for the printer was right well. very well okay continue Carla oh wow well. and here only two participants <clears throat> yes teacher. yes uh, do you feel yes, comfortable yes. here or do you want me to transfer you to another group? Actually, um, Andre, I don't know. Okay, yes. are you participating, Andre? Teacher, I'm here, but I'm a little bossy. Okay, so I'm going to transfer uh, Ursula to another group, yeah? Yes, teacher. And also it's, to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can have a practice because only two more classes to finish the course. Okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. 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 Ursula, go to your group. Okay.
the read about the read part. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y las la cinco sería. Entonces la segunda sería on January. On January. ¿De cuál? De las cinco. De las cinco. Es que dice. Cuando hiciste la segunda compra. Ajá, porque le pregunta cuándo fue la segunda compra. Ajá, cuándo. When do you make the second purchase? Cuando. No. Sería on Jan January. Uh -huh. Second. Second. Uh -huh. On January second. Y no, la January 1st was uh, the... No, no, it says on the forces is part for the printer. Sería uh, on November 1st. Uh, yes, I think that is the second purchase on November 1st. Because the first purchase was on January 2nd. And the second was on November 3rd. Ajá, es que habla en la 5, habla de la segunda. De la segunda compra. Ajá, entonces yeah. la, la primera fue en noviembre y la segunda fue en enero. Um, maybe, I think it's, uh, it's the first on January. I don't know, teacher, if the January 2nd is the day, so de enero, y primero de noviembre. Yes. Okay. If, if, if that's correct, I think the first purchase was on January 2nd, and the second purchase was on November 1st, like Eduardo says. But why are you saying the first, uh, the first purchase? Ah, because here you dictated uh, when did you make the second purchase? Yeah. According, according to the order and logic of the paragraph, the first uh, purchase was on November 1st and the second one was on January 2nd. Maybe at the end of the year and at the beginning of the year or the other way around, yeah? Mm -hmm. Maybe they were they were ending the year because of the order, correct? But, but that, that, that no mention the year. Yeah, that is why it is kind of you know a little bit crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it depends on the side that you see it. Yeah. Probably yes. logically, I would say on January, but according to the order of the paragraph, yeah, mm. it's on November. Is that correct? Uh -huh. mm. So you may get an agreement, pueden llegar a un acuerdo, okay, as a group, and you make the decision. Okay. 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 Go for it, make the decision. I don't know what the other partners Okay, think class, uh, group, what do you think? Are you going to go for the first purchase in on November or on January? What do you make a decision and you get an agreement? It is your choice and we accept because it is your point of view. Yeah, no problem on that. No problem. No, no problem because it is your agreement and your I'm respect. Not, I think it was in order with the November 1st is the first purchase. And the January 2nd is the second purchase. 
I think. January the second. Yes. Okay. Vote. Vote on that. Hagan la votación. I just, I think uh, on January. <laughs> okay, on the chat you write January or uh, November. Me, me too on January 2nd. Okay, write it and then you count. Make it as a, as a survey. Háganlo como una encuesta. Yeah. <laughs> we respect your decision. Okay. Okay. The purchase the purchase was on November first. The the Se podría ser the date of purchase was on November 1st. Mm -hmm. Carla, when was the date of the purchase of the red card? Miss Carla When was the what? Repeat the question. Marisa. Okay. When was the date of the purchase of the read part? January 2nd. Okay, la última sería what was the brand of the spark part of the printer? The spark part for the printer was we will try to Okay. That's it. Yes, we are finished. finished. Okay, thank you so much. Let's return to the main session room then. Okay. Thank you for the active participation.
claps, claps, claps for the active participants in the different groups, okay? For the active participants, you did a pretty good job. You were discussing, you were um, using the rational, and that is good because that is a discussion. Now, class, I have shared with you via WhatsApp, okay? Uh, make sure of the questions that you are going to be discussing right now in the breakout rooms. And here we go, okay? This is, you're going to be asking and answering about past events in your workplace. Where do trainings take place in your company? Who are the eligible people to go to trainings at your workplace? In other words, you're going to say if there, there is any criteria that the people working in human resources consider to choose the people who are going to participate in the different trainings or if it is voluntary or if they have prepared a, a group of trainings or if the trainings are offered, they say they share with all the employees the the invitation for the trainings and if you are interested you you say i would like to participate in this okay okay fill in this form and then we're going to to process your information where do trainings take place in your company maybe in the meeting room in the multi-purpose room in um, an auditorium in a hotel in a restaurant online or in the different institutions that offer the trainings. I don't know who are the eligible people to go to trainings at your workplace. Or you may say, depending on the nature of the training. So these two questions are the ones that you are going to be asking and answering right now in the breakout rooms. I shared the picture via WhatsApp so you can have it, okay? And here we go. Aye. Okay. Uh, I'm going to share the invitation so you join to your groups. Go to your groups, please. Everybody participating, please. Remember only two more classes. Hello, hello. Yeah. Okay, let's begin asking and answering the questions. Hello, are there any participants in this group? It is only speaking, you don't have to write, only speaking. Hay algún participante por acá? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, so why are you, aren't you asking and answering the questions? Porque no están preguntando y respondiendo. Okay. Yo ya las respondí. Mm. Really? Yes. Okay. I'm going to ask okay. you, Sonia. Where, where do trainings take place in your company? 
in the mariner room. In the? In the mirroring ah, room. Okay. In the meeting room. In the meeting room. Okay. Who are the elective? El, elective? Eligible, oh, okay. eligible? Eligible. Okay. Who are the eligible people to go to trainings at your workplace? Uh, it de de depends on the topic to the this. To, it depends on the topic of the training. The it, listen, it depends on the topic of the training. <laughs> Okay. 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 Place in your Henry Giovanni in the devotional rooms, in the hotel, in the meeting, in the meeting rooms. Okay, who are the the eligible people to go to training? at your workplace. Se dice. Who are the eligible people mm -hmm. to go? To go ah, pero sería, pero no sé cómo se traduce todo el equipo porque sería. All the team, all the team. All the all the team. Ah, entonces sería all the operation things. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Okay. Henry Giovanni, you have to ask the questions. Ask the questions to Edward. Eduardo Flores. Venga, venga. Henry Giovanni, ask the questions to Eduardo Flores. Okay, Eduardo, where do trainings take place in your company? The trainings is in the sales room. In front of the computer for the use in the system. Okay. Who are the eligible people to go to training at your workplace? The company select many people for training previous arrived uh, trainees in the, in the different branches. Excellent. Now, Edward, ask the questions to Catherine Beatriz. Catherine Beatriz, where do training take place in your company? In, in the meeting room. Who are the eligible people to go to training at the workplace? Um, all, all the team. Okay. Quien falta? Catherine asked the questions to yeah. Edwin. Edwin Esaú. Se okay. vale el refil. ¿Ah? Se vale el refil. <laughs> yes. Me and Ursula. Ok, Ursula and Edwin. Ursula Esteli, hello, are you there? Yes. Yeah. Ok. Edwin asked the questions to Esteli. No era Catherine. Mm, I think Catherine. Okay, Catherine, Catherine asked the questions to Ursula Esteli. Ursula Esteli later is going to ask the question to Edwin. Is that okay? 
Ok. okay. Úrsula, eh, where do training take place in your company? Mm, most, most, most of the time, the people take the training online. And the other cases in the in meeting board. Okay. Uh, who are the eligible people to go to training at your workplace? Mm, it, it's the sales department and technician department. Okay. 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 Ursula okay. Esteli, you asked the questions to Edwin. Edwin, where do training take place in your company? Um, sometimes the meetings are in the store or in the office of the company. Okay. Who are the eligible people to work to training at your work? And they are selective. Depending on which department they are for. Okay. Okay, very well. Everybody did it. And Reina Elizabeth, are you available? Reina Elizabeth, knock knock. Are you available? Reina Elizabeth, she's not available. Okay. So class, thank you. Very well done. You have been practicing reading, listening, and speaking. Let's get back to the main session room, okay? Okay. Thanks. Very well. Let's wait for the rest of the class so we can continue with the next activity, okay? Okay, here we go. Let's continue. Very well done, class. Congrats on your participation. Now here, exercise number two. You listen to your teacher read the conversation. Then you practice with a partner. The conversation goes like this. She is Mrs. Lewis and he is Eric. Hi, Eric. How's it going? How's it going? Hello, Mrs. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. From knowledge, okay? Knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was uh, some minutes late and we left very late. One more time. Mm. 
Hi, Eric. How's it going? How's it going? Hello, Mrs. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used the computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Okay, so I need to volunteers to read this conversation. Who is going to be Mrs. Lewis? Mrs. Lewis. Okay, uh, Mrs. Lewis uh, and uh, Andre, you're going to be Eric the first time. Okay, here we go. Begin, Miss. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late, and we go and we left very late. Thank you. Now, two more participants raise their hand. Who wanted to participate? I don't know if Sonia or Evelyn. Okay, Ursula Esteli, you're going to be Mrs. Mrs. Lewis, la señora Lewis, Mrs. Lewis. Okay, and who is going to read Eric? Me, teacher. Okay, Evelyn. One, two, three, go for it. Begin. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mrs. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speakers had a lot of experience and he was very knowledge knowledgeable knowledgeable did you provide examples of the topics he spoke about yes he did and he used it he used a computer to provide examples sounds good so everything was fine right well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Very well, class. You are going to practice this conversation. You switch roles, you change your roles. And in other words, everybody's going to read Mrs. Lewis and everybody's going to read Eric. When you finish reading this, conversation, you are going to go over the reading comprehension question. You are going to get, to get in groups and discuss the following questions. What kind of event did Eric attend? What did the speaker use to provide examples? What did Eric not like about the event? Okay? Is it clear, class? Okay. The instructions? Okay. Let's go to the breakout rooms. Join your groups, please. Evelyn, tell me the name of one of your classmates in the group so I can join you to that group. Evelyn, what did you? Tell me the name of one of the people in your group. Dígame el nombre de uno de los miembros de su equipo para unirle al mismo grupo. Sonia. Okay, let me see for it. Sonia, Sonia, Sonia. Okay. Okay, go there. Okay. And Catherine Beatriz. 
Catherine, you work with us with Evelyn and Sonia. De Sonia y Ajá, okay. Eduardo. Oh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, go to that group. Okay, let's join the groups and begin with the speaking practice, okay? Speaking practice and answering the questions, please. Knowledgeable. Excellent. Knowledgeable. That's it. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. The stress goes okay. at the beginning. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Okay. Did okay. he provide example of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide example. Mm -hmm. Very late. Now my turn. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I am just fine. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable, no, ¿cómo dijo eso? knowledgeable, knowledgeable, knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. Um, he used a computer to provide example. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we and we left very late. Okay, thank you, Sonia. Thank you. Next couple. Eh, yo no sé con quién. Me? ¿Quién? Usted. Yes, Evelyn. Yes. Okay, Evelyn, comienzo. Sí. Hi, Eric. How is going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You are welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, C. He provides example of the topic he talked about. Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sound good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Okay, join it. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I'm just fine. Thank, thank you for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience. And he was very not knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. No, no knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Okay, thank you. The other participants, okay. Eduardo Flores and Henry Giovanni. 
Henry Giovanni. Are you going to participate reading? Hi, Eric. How is it going? Yes, solo que se me había caído la señal, entonces no tengo la, la imagen. No, de, eh, eh, it is in WhatsApp. Está en WhatsApp dos veces. Yo la compartí y alguien más la compartió. Sonia la compartió, creo, ¿verdad? En WhatsApp la tiene. Y es, pero si no se la manda ahorita aquí al grupo, compañera. Ya, 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 ya. Thank you. Ya la tiene. Ok. Yeah. okay. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Um, Hello, Mr. Levis. I am just fine. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. How, how was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledge. Knowledgeable. 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 Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Did he provide examples of the topic they talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late. And we late very late. Switch. Okay, next participants, Evelyn, did you read? Yes, teacher. Mm. And Edwin Esaú? Yes, teacher. And Esteli also? You already practiced the conversation. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, now answer the questions. Okay. Okay. What? What kind of event did you, Eric, attend? Eh, que, que, o sea, que se fue tarde. Que él, él llegó tarde. Muy tarde. Mm -hmm. Ese día, he was some minutes late. Um, we left very late. Mm -hmm. Yes. No sé si volvamos a practicar la lectura. Yeah. Listen, did you finish the answering the questions? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, and everybody practice here the conversation. Yes. 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 Okay, so let's return because we have some other activities. Thank you for the active participation okay. class. Okay.
Thank you so much for coming back. And right now, okay, I'm going to share a slide with you. Okay, via WhatsApp, and you are going to work building this exercise. Let me see here and over here. There you are. Okay. So class, right now I have shared with you this slide. Write questions beginning with was or where. For example, she a lawyer. Was she a lawyer? If it is a question, you know that you need to write first was or where and the complement. And always at the end, a question mark. Is that okay? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Let's go to the breakout rooms. Ah, hold it. Before we go to the breakout rooms, I'm going to call your name so I can... Uh, because you're going to be there at the time for the for the attendance, okay? So Ana Cristina at the moment is absent. Uh, Andre, Andre, where are you? Present teacher. Thank you. Isabel Campos. Arely. Present teacher. Enrique Carlos Enrique. Carlos Enrique Rivas, absent at the moment. Carlos Enrique is absent. Ernesto Rivas, Dani, was absent today. Emanuel, David Emanuel. Present teacher. Thank you. Daisy Carolina. Daisy Carolina Angulo. Absent, Daisy. Edwin Esaú. Edwin Esaú. Edwin Esaú. Edwin Esaú. So later <laughs> you tell me, ah, you didn't mention my <laughs> name. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Carla Minero. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Evelyn Yamilet. Present teacher. Thank you. Chill Yvonne. Yvonne. Chill Yvonne. Edward. Guillermo Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Henry Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Beatriz Mejia. Miss Jennifer. Present Miss. Thank you Miss Jennifer. Mm, Juan Eduardo Flores. Present. Thank you. Catherine Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you. Miss Katia. Katia, I saw you here. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you, Miss Maritza Elizabeth. Maritza, where Present. are you? Present. I saw you. Okay. Miguel Angel Santos. Present teacher. Great. Noé Gustavo. Present teacher. Oscar Eduardo. Oscar Eduardo. Oscar Humberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Reina. Present. Thank you. Uh, Rosalí Bon. Rosalí. Absent. Sonia. Present teacher. Thank you. Susan, Carolina. Ursula Esteli. Present teacher. Great, excellent. Now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout room so you can complete that exercise, okay? Five minutes the most. Join your groups, please. I sent you the invitation, go to your groups and let's begin working.
Sonia, go to your group. Rosalie Bond. Rosalie Bond, you are here. Okay. Go to your groups, please. Yes. Five, number five. Where, where we early? Yes, that's right. Number six. Where? Where do you have Is seven. And where? Were people you, in, in a party? A party. A. Were where they sad? They sad. Yes. Number five. We are. Where we are. Maybe where we early. Perfect. Number six. Number seven. No, the six is. Where the jewelry available? Yes, you. You. Where. You or where you? Where? Porque es como estaba disponible. Where you available? Yes. We were early. Uh, number five. Where we yes. early? Como dijiste? Where? Where were where we early? Where we early? Yes. Finished. Do I know? Not too sure. Where you able ably? Available. Available. In your seven is where people in a party. Where they sat. Okay. 
Because Finished? Yes. yes okay, let's get back and compare with the other with the other partners. Thanks for the active participation group. Now we are going to compare our work with the rest of the class. Let's wait for them. Okay. Okay, let's wait for the other partners to come back. Okay, class, here we go. Let's see what you have. Number one, <coughs> where? They friendly. Were friendly. Were they friendly? Number two, and was, it cold. Was, it cold. was it cold? Number three, was Jim a student? Was Jim a student? Very well. Number four, was he? Innocent. Was he innocent? Number five. Early. Were we early? Number six. Someone telling me. The Were question. you available? Were you available? Excellent. Number seven. Were people in a party? Great. Remember, people is always plural, okay? You say one person, two people, three people. You never say two persons, no, that doesn't exist. One person, two people. There were two people outside of, uh, of the bank, for example. Now, number eight. They sell. Where they sell. Very well, were they sad? Were they sad because it is plural? Now here, okay, you are going to complete this uh, dialogue with once or where? I'm going to share it with you right now, okay? Via WhatsApp for your convenience. Uh, there you are, okay. And here, you know, you only have to read according to the logic, according to the correct word order, and you decide if it is was or were in order to complete the conversation, okay? Here we go. Let's go to work. Join your groups, please. And you practice the conversation, please, okay? In the groups, you complete the conversation and you practice. Hello class, here Jennifer Beatriz, Carla Minero, Noe Gustavo, Maritza Elizabeth, Andre, and Guillermo yes. Eduardo. You complete the conversation and later you take turns in order to practice the dialogue here in the groups, okay? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Usando el or where? Where? You complete the conversation. Where to last month? 
you complete the conversation using the past tense of the verb be, was or were. When you finish the completion of the uh, conversation, you practice, okay? You take turns and you practice the conversation. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, okay great. Let's begin. Okay. Please ignore me. I'm not here, okay? <laughs> en la primera, yo pienso que sería was. Sí, I was in the use. Use. I was. I was in Alguien que tenga para editarlo. Yo hoy no puedo editar. Y en esta, ¿cómo sería? Uh, in the USA, I in Miami, what? What, what was? Ajá, yo, yo le, le encuentro más rica, what? It was great. It was great. The same, the same. And the weather. Se le escucha muy bajito, Úrsula. Listen, listen, class. In the first sentence, hello, Pan, where there is, a, you need to add a, a, after where, was or where, was or where, where you last month. Uh, it was my mistake. I didn't write the line. Okay. In the first, Andy says, hello, Pam, where, blah, blah, you last month. Is it was or where? You what? last month. Uh-huh. In that space, I'm going to share right now where you need to add that space because it was my mistake. Where over here? Okay. Here. Yeah. You see? Where blah, blah. In this first uh, sentence, where you last month. I want to share it again. You need to write here one word. Was or where? Where? Where were you? Very well. Where were you? Teacher. Yes. Puede poner la imagen otra vez. Es que a mí me sale diferente. Obvio. Obvio que le sale diferente. Se las acabo de compartir porque les dije que se me había escapado de esa línea ahí. Okay. <laughs> That is why it is obvious. Where were you? Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is strange. Yeah, yeah. obviously. <laughs> I was explaining to you that. Ay, my God. Okay. Continue. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Did you finish the completion of the conversation, class? No, teacher. Okay, notice that I shared again the, the picture because it was my mistake in the first picture that I didn't uh, add a line in the first sentence because you have hello Pam where blah blah you last month so which is the missing word was or where in the first sentence was 
was where, the, was where, no, where were you? Where were you? Donde estabas? Where were you, where were you last month? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. No, okay. I that photo. No, otro photo. Okay. Yes, so we say, hello, Pam, where were you last month? Hi, Andy, I was in the USA in Miami. Yes? And then you continue. Yes. Okay. What was it like? Yes, what was it like? It? It was great. Yes. The, the sea? sea? Where can and the... No. Because the sea was third person was. singular was yeah, okay. The sea was the calm was and calm the, and the and weather the... was incredible. Yes, that's it. In what? <clears throat> In what was the hotel like? Okay. Uh, fantastic. There, there was a casino and there were four movie theaters. That's correct. What were the people like? Uh huh. They were charming and friendly. That's okay. Now you practice the conversation. Okay. Okay. You you work in pairs. Okay. You decide. Carla chooses a classmate. Jennifer another partner. Marita another partner. And Noé another partner. And you practice all the conversation. Okay. Let's begin with the practice. Okay. Okay. okay, please. I was, I was in Miami. Okay. Yes, I was in Miami. Okay, let's double check. Hello, Pam. Where were you last month? Yes? Last month. Yes. Hi, Andy. I, I was. was in the USA. In Miami. What? Was, was it like what was it like it was was great the sea the sea el mar estaba what? the what? sea was calm and the weather was incredible very well and what was was the hotel like fantastic uh there was a casino and there were four theaters. What was no because people uh, always plural. Were, 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 were what the people were like, the people like? They were charming, were charming, charming and, and friendly. friendly. Excellent. Now you practice the conversation. Practice. Okay. Sonia and and Catherine and Ursula, Ursula. Sonia and Ursula, begin please. Okay. Hello, Pam. Hello, Pam. Where were you last month? Hi, Andy. I was in the USA. I what? was in Miami. What was it like? It was great. The sea was calm and the weather was incredible. And what uh, were we here Yes. And um, what were the hotel like? No, what was the hotel no. like? What was what? the hotel like? Okay, what and what was the hotel like? Fantastic. There was a casino and there were four movie theaters. Okay. Uh, what was the people like? Where? What were the people? Sorry, what were the people like? 
They were charming and friendly. They were charming and friendly. Wow, very nice. Okay, listen. Catherine Beatriz. Knock, knock. Catherine Beatriz. Hi, teacher. Ah, uh, Catherine Beatriz, I need you to stay with me after class, okay? Necesito se quede conmigo después de la clase, ¿de acuerdo? Sí, está bien. Okay, for a short time. Uh, now, class, let's return to the main session room because it's almost time to say goodbye, okay? Let's okay. return, everyone. Okay, teacher. We'll Thank to continue you. with the practice. Okay, class, listen, tomorrow we're going to continue practicing this conversation as a feedback, as a review because of the time. So right now I'm going to ask you to activate your camera so I can take a picture of you. And we are waiting for one group that is still practicing, but in 10 seconds they need to be back, okay? Group number two is still practicing, Ms. Carla Minero, Jennifer Beatriz, Andre, and Maritza. Let's wait for them. Meanwhile, you get ready and your best smile. Okay. So one, two, three. Cameras on, please. One, two, three. Activate the cameras and your best smile for this Tuesday night. Say yes. One, two, three. Oopsie. Okay, class. I think that today you had a very productive session in the practice congratulations and we practice a lot the past tense yes okay great thanks for your nice smile and only miss catherine is going to stay with me miss catherine se quedará conmigo for the one-on-one -on -one session for the others yes. please finish the platform el resto por favor finalicen sus trabajos en la plataforma Okay, because only two more classes and then it is over. Have a good night. God bless you and see you tomorrow. Hopefully. Bye bye. Okay. Have a great Have a night. Good night. Sweet dreams. Bye, Enjoy you your tomorrow. dreams. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Have a good night. Only Miss Catherine. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, Miss Catherine Beatriz. Here we go. Bye bye, Andre. Bye bye, Areli. Bye bye, Oscar, Eduardo. Okay, Miss Catherine, we are going to practice, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to practice, Miss Catherine, uh, reading. And here, you are Mrs. Lewis, not Mr. Lewis, Mrs. Mrs. Lewis, and I'm going to read Eric. You begin, Miss Catherine. Okay. Hi, Eric. How is going? No. How is going? No. How is it? How is it? You join the two words. Is it? How is it going? Repeat after me. How is it going? How is it going? Yeah, but faster. How is it going? How is it going? Excellent. Very well. Hello, Mrs. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. Uh, you are welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide example for the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used the computer to provide examples. Sound good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late, and we left very late. Now, please repeat after me. Uh, knowledgeable? Knowledgeable? Knowledgeable. No, knowledgeable. Uh, okay. Yes, talked. Talked. Talk. Okay, hold it. Here. Talked. 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 No pronunciamos la L. It is 
Newt, toc, 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 toc. Como, como una T al final, toc, toc, ok, knowledgeable, no, 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 no
of the new product. Uh, that's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Ray, did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself, downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Now we switch. You are Eric and I am Hank. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. 78. 70? 78. That's correct. Okay. 78. I, yes, that's it. 78. Okay. I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product. That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes. I went to get it by my, myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual very well here it was better now here i read it once and later you read it okay mary went to a training in guatemala last tuesday the training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it the presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts. Mary had. He used a computer to present examples during the speech. Now you read it. Uh, Mary, we went to a training in Guatemala last Thursday. The training was interesting because he learned how to fix uh, the equipment. Uh, she used and how to prevent damage on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified although Mary had, he used a computer to present example during the speech. Okay, repeat after me, miss. Went. Went. Tuesday. Tuesday. She. She. Equipment. Equipment. Damages. 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 Doubts. Doubt. Doubts. Doubt. You don't pronounce the B. Doubts. Doubt. Okay. Doubt. Doubts. Doubt. Hey, Miss Catherine, thank you so much for giving me your time, okay? I hope okay. to see you tomorrow in class. I need you to work on the platform, Miss Catherine, because we only have two more classes by tomorrow mm -hmm. at midnight. That must be over, okay? Thank you very okay. much for your time. Have a good night. A sleep well, sweet dreams, and see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye, Miss bye, Catherine. Bye-bye, Adelie, bye, Isabel. Bye-bye, Oscar, Eduardo. Have a great night, too, okay? Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.